Now that you know the basics, let's apply what you've learned and color a page. We'll be coloring this make time for your magic page. You can find it in the course info below. Now you can either pick your colors straight out of the box as you go, or you could do a little bit of planning or find color inspiration on Pinterest. I wanted to keep it simple. Two colors of brown, light and dark, two colors of yellow or gold, light and dark, and two colors of green. Although I only ended up using the dark green and then I added a bright pink for an accent. And let's get started by just doing exactly what we did last time, but doing it to one of these leaves. So with a firm pencil pressure, I'm going to outline the leaf. And I'm using the same asparagus green pencil here that I used in the first demo, but you could use any color that you want. Your leaves don't have to be green. They could be pink or purple or yellow or blue. They could be any color, so don't get hung up on natural colors. However, in this demo, I'm gonna make them green. So just go ahead and do an outline, just as we did, Same exact same process, a more complicated shape. And sure, you could color, there are different ways to color leaves, but let's just keep applying this same method uh, until you get comfortable with it. So now that the outline's all done, I'm going to use a light pencil pressure, super light pencil pressure in little circles and blend out the edge from the hard line to kind of a white in the middle or a really, really light green. If you gotta color the whole leaf, do it really lightly and then blend the darker edge out to a lighter color. But I'm gonna leave white space. Small circles, just a super light pressure. And then just blending out the line. It's the same thing as, exact same thing as the jar label exercise, just in, in a different shape. So you can see how this could apply to anything, any color. And a little bit more in the middle, just kind of go over the whole thing, like super, super light, just so the whole thing is kind of green. Uh, you could go deeper than I do here, either with the lightest parts or with the shadows, but try to leave some contrast just for the sake of leaving some contrast. Okay, so now I'm going to speed through coloring the other leaves. You can pause the video and get caught up with your own or just continue on. So you got all of your leaves colored. Awesome, they look great. You can see how there's some differences in uh, the different leaves that I colored here. So I have my taupe pencil again. You could use a different tan or any color you want for the banner. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm going to outline one section of the banner at a time with the taupe pencil at a pretty firm pressure. Then with little circles and a super light pressure, I'm gonna blend that outwards to the middle and leave some white space. So I get rid of the hard edge and just make a nice fuzzy looking coloring. <laughs> So that looks pretty good. Uh, darken up the edge a little bit, deepen the color. And I'm gonna speed through this next section, but do the same thing. 
outline with a firm pressure and then use a really light pressure in little tiny circles to blend that hard edge out to the white in the middle. I'm going to do the same thing to the front of the banner and also to the squares or the shapes in the back of the banner. That looks really cool, but I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to get my beaver pencil again, which is like a dark brown, and just the squares in or the shapes in the back of the banner, the ones, not the ones with the letters, but the ones that are behind it. I'm going to darken around the edge just a little bit, and if they're darker, they'll be a little farther away, and they'll look a little shadowed and I'll add a little more contrast between the front ones and the back ones. So you don't have to do that, but I'm going to do it and just kind of show you how to apply the same thing to add depth. You can do this to any shape. So again, I'm just using the darker brown in the shapes, the behind shapes. <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job of explaining that. But the segments of the banner that are behind the front ones, I'm darkening those just to give it a wee bit more contrast. So I'll speed through this, but just keep going with the rest of the segments in the back of the banner. Let's color the little pocket watch. And again, I'm going to just use the same thing. I'm going to get a gold pencil. I think this is mango. And I'm going to use a firm pressure and color the edge. And you can see for this, I'm not even being very careful about those two different segments. I'm kind of coloring over the line and using them as one thing. Ha <laughs> ha. Go ahead, color outside the lines. So now I'm using a really light pressure to color the face of the watch. I am blending it out with the lightest pressure to blend that, that dark edge out to the white in the center. Same thing we've been doing, just on a clock. Cool. So I, it didn't take too long. I didn't use that much uh, pencil for it. I didn't color the whole thing or, you know, spend an hour on it. I just really quickly made it look pretty cool. And then I think I'm going to get, like, my beaver, the darker brown, and just add a tiny bit of shading in here just a little bit of shadow or I think it would fall don't have to you can just copy along with what I'm doing for now and a little bit of the top of the clock because I'm going to have the candle lighted up from below awesome that looks cool your assignment for this lesson is to color the leaves the banner and the pocket watch on your page using this same technique use any colors that you like or you can follow along with the colors I used if you'd prefer and make sure to leave the candle because I'll show you how to do that in the next lesson.